very highly degraded, so I have to read from the paper because I cannot remember all of this. Uh, Professor Salman joined uh, Polytechnic Montreal in 1991, when he's currently Professor of Microelectronics and also Biomedical Engineering. Uh, he is uh, holder of the Canada Chair in Smart Medical Devices, which is the Analog Digital RF Emerson Optic. Uh, he also leads Microsystems Strategic Alliance of Quebec. Uh, he has published more than 450 papers in, in his area uh, and also has won several prestigious awards. Uh, Professor Salman is an IGP fellow and also uh, a fellow of the Canadian Academy of Engineering, a fellow of the Engineering Institute of Canada, and officer of Quebec's uh, uh, national uh, order. Uh, Dr. Salman will present a talk today titled Implantable Microsystems Intended for Onset Epileptic Seizures, Detection, and Treatment. So, Mr. Salman. Okay, uh, good afternoon. Uh, I guess I have to start uh, to thank you very much for coming and listening to me this afternoon again. And, uh, Mainly, I would like to thank the organizing committee for inviting me, and uh, of course, uh, mainly uh, Dr. Morsi uh, for this uh, invitation and the kind uh, introduction. Okay, so uh, <coughs> uh, this is, uh, uh, I don't know, an honor for me to be here in India. Actually, I was born in, in Lebanon, not far from here, so what was the same? So I'm very happy to to share uh, our work with you. Uh, as uh, mentioned, uh, so I am the Dr. Technique. Uh, this is uh, a state research center, including Eleven University in Quebec. And this is the French uh, state in Canada, as you know. And this is the lab name uh, we will talk about a little bit later during my presentation. So, uh, as you see, the title is the uh, Connecting with brain, brain machine interface, brain computer interface, those are very hard uh, topic uh, these days. It means building an uh, implantable microsystem to uh, start with them inside the brain. And uh, I will show uh, you a few uh, things we are doing, and uh, one of these is mainly uh, the, uh, uh, the PFC, which is, of course, a major. Uh, uh, neural system uh, uh, diseases. Also, maybe uh, many of you know about uh, this work uh, done by the group of Van uh, Roo in the uh, US, uh, which is a uh, paralyzed person called the magic. And uh, there are systems there that can start the brain machine interface again connected on the motor side and uh, using uh, this matrix of pin and then uh, uh, converting the means of doing the recording and converting uh, this recording to movement which means in two words uh, mind driven somehow uh, 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 movement you know so those words show uh, different side in the brain this is as you see channel 38, channel 16 uh, means is in the channel uh, uh, 11, uh, 100 the pin means 100 up to 100 channels, and those channels are uh, means recording as you see here the the means uh, spike frequency or rate is different from the uh, side to side, and then uh, uh, means reflecting the different part of the body uh, as on a moon. This is the main issue here. So uh, with this, of course, still uh, now uh, recording 100 channels or we want to have a record up to maybe 1,000 or more. People, many group now are doing this recording, but uh, so far it's difficult to handle this data and they don't know what to do with this. And so this is a similar processing issue is a major also for those applications. Uh, now for treatment, there are also a lot of work, a lot of application, many, many, you know, uh, industry doing devices. Uh, 
pacemaker is uh, well known, of course, uh, more than 60 years old now. Of course, technology uh, allowed to, to have better uh, system, but uh, uh, well known. And, uh, but the connection is not directly with the brain, but all other stuff here are uh, uh, somehow connected with the brain. This is uh, here uh, a picture about uh, stimulation at the level of the epithelium inside the brain for Parkinson mainly. This is the first system which is connected with the brain through the cochlea. This is the, for the cochlea implant. And then uh, vision. So vision with the retina. And I will show you uh, vision with the brain inside the brain. Okay. And uh, for motor neuropathy disease, is it uh, uh, using, uh, of course, system in order to uh, somehow stimulate different muscles in order to coordinate a little bit, but still far to be ready, it's improving uh, uh, cities. Then uh, in our lab, uh, we are doing, uh, as you see here, uh, some uh, work on peripheral dysfunctions. So the laser is not working anymore. There are any Sorry, I have to take a look at Okay, so we have bladder control for the urinary bladder, do some more respiration, gastric function. All these are connected with the peripheral nerves, not directly with the brain. We are already assessed on sensor networks for different issue uh, and endocortical dysfunction. This is, I will, of course, focus on this. We are using optics, it is sound based medical devices for diagnostic neurodiversity from outside, uh, doing uh, uh, clinical imaging, all these. And then uh, recently we are using that much shape, which uh, is allowed to work at the level of uh, neurotransmitter, the connection between neurons. We need to do such precise uh, measurement to learn more and to have a better system. So, uh, for the bladder, one slide here uh, is uh, we are uh, measuring what's happening for the bladder, uh, connecting with the spinal canal, the spinal uh, close by the spinal cord, and uh, with uh, almost one channel, one bipolar channel. Recording uh, means the bladder pressure and volume of the urine connecting to the, uh, to the outside system, base station, wirelessly, and to inform for the patient, and then the patient can decide to uh, avoid, for example. This is the system, there are many things can be done, electrode based on uh, uh, <coughs> some, um, it means, uh, of okay, the name now, but anyway, those flexible electrodes to connect around the nerve, and then here we have uh, the electrode. So this is elaborated, uh, and this is the antenna, uh, collecting energy and then data, and then uh, stimulate if needed, and in the, uh, the real time, there are one channel operating to keep the uh, uh, the shape or the, the, the maintain the bladder as it is. There are many things can be said, but I will just skip here to say there are different sites, different places to measure this plan to stimulate in order to uh, control the bladder. So we have many, many advanced work on this project. Uh, then uh, I will focus uh, for my talk here on the brain machine interface again showing the multi-channel parallel recording and the treatment, uh, showing somehow uh, data and power management, uh, showing how we do our electrodes, and then uh, uh, on table and treatment, because this is focused a little bit on vision, and the power and data link here, uh, so how, uh, because those systems inside the brain, we do not have battery, so we will see the energy from outside, and uh, harvesting and then operating those systems. So we do rough idea, then focus on the uh, satisfaction and the treatment, algorithm circuit and the clinical result. And uh, of course, if we have time, I can show you what our lab So uh, here, uh, to start recording, so we are uh, building system 
from one side we have the matrix of pin as you see here. So uh, this is the four per four, but I will show only for here. Uh, four per four means 16 channels, and on top of this matrix of pin, we are connecting or stacking different chip. Uh, and uh, the first version was done with uh, different dimension of those chip in order to facilitate bonding, as you see here. So uh, the, the front end here uh, with, the, with the pin is the pre-amplification or data acquisition system, and allow mainly and then conversion to digital, and then the digital system on chip here in order to do signal processing, and we go to uh, last chip here, which is uh, the uh, to handle the signal and the broadcasting to wire to outside world uh, using RF, of course. If you want to source chip, of course, it's elaborated, and I will uh, maybe mention about that. Also, making the those record, uh, I will uh, uh, give more information. Uh, so, this slide, uh, of course, a little bit the future about uh, the objective, but so far, uh, this is what I just mentioned about. From one side, we have electrodes, and we have the system. So uh, the system is multi-channel. Every channel has its, uh, uh, of course, uh, a noise amplifier, the filtering, and then some analog processing. Uh, so we are privileging analog processing in order to, uh, of course, reduce power consumption and uh, then conversion the data uh, to digital and then we have uh, specific uh, control here and connecting uh, wirelessly to our side. So this is uh, uh, also uh, we have another antenna here for energy, uh, energy uh, collecting and the powering with the system. Uh, the front end the noise uh, like all was a block are uh, optimized in order to take very small area and uh, of course as slow as possible power consumption. So this is for those in the driving, you see this is two cross-conductance uh, and uh, with this feedback integration allow us to have some filter by the pass as you see here and uh, the reality is shown and then uh, <coughs> it gives you an idea about Okay, so uh, the idea here is to reduce power consumption, so it means uh, we we'll have a first block uh, looking if there is some action potential on site. If yes, then we can proceed, process the, the, uh, the information. If not, not necessary to wake up this block. So when we have this information, then we can, of course, decide to send to outside the uh, board the timestamp. Uh, or the wall, or the side, So this is uh, uh, trying to reduce, of course, the data, because when we have several hundred channels, if we go to signal like this, total, total data is not is impossible to send outside with the RAM. This is why there are many work being done in our group in order to reduce uh, the data. So we we'll pick up a signal from the size of the brain, which like this, Zoom, we can have uh, actual potential or some uh, current spike, then zooming more, and then, uh, of course, uh, here are zoom and we can zoom more here. Then, uh, what we are doing in, in those stacking system uh, is uh, we are uh, keeping, uh, uh, means uh, conducting data or monitoring here. Uh, uh, during uh, such uh, duration, which is, uh, uh, I don't know, as you see here, a few uh, uh, hundred uh, microseconds, uh, which is around 16 bytes. And then, as soon as we have a uh, sign of action potential or spike uh, with those uh, shorting here, then we can keep this information and continue uh, till we complete an action potential. This is around 2 milliseconds, give you an idea. And this is it. the idea here we are interested to collect the action, the total information about the action potential and not, uh, and not only spike an event uh, on and off. So we want to take all this and the key and send to us. So this is uh, quickly uh, give you an idea about this 4 per 4 micro channels, 16 channels, everyone I just mentioned about 
which means that blood noise amplifier, filter, and uh, conversion to digital and digital to analog conversion. Uh, we have uh, 16 of these, and this is the digital part, which is mainly memory and some control, of course. This is prototype, stacking all these. Give you an idea about the, the perfect means the characteristic they can say. The power consum consumption of the total 4 per 4 channel here is uh, less than 1 milliwatt. And uh, this is the, the size of the dial. And this is for the signal chip, which is give you an idea about uh, all those measurements. Also for, uh, for uh, the digital part, of course, memory consumes some energy. So for every channel, we need around 100 microwatt. Uh, then uh, we move to analog because digital is, uh, is the power consuming, consuming in those recording. So we have here a uh, 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 simplified system again. This is the signal coming in here. So we have some analog processor and an array. And then here we have to take a decision if there's, that means we improve the signal here. And this is, if we have actual potential, then we can of course, decide to go further and collect the same information here after a certain delay, which count on this processor delay. So if we have information here, then we can go and collect the actual information. So this is the signal. This is the improving with this analog processor. Uh, and then uh, this is the decision and we're doing is we have, actually, we have information coming, and then we can take it, it out there. Then uh, <coughs> those circuits, of course, are electronic. This is uh, the bigger energy operator called this processor. This is the equation about how it's built. And so few differentiators and multiplier and transcontractors, as you see here. Then the filter is the nice, nice order or pass delay filter. It's only delay. Then the control is also based on a couple of uh, flash and set. This is the okay, the chip to make this, give you an idea comparing. So very small area and total consumption is 780 nanowatt, less than one microwatt to do uh, all this work. And this is our first measurement from the chip, uh, very late in the operation. Of course, the power, uh, power management is the uh, is main issue. So even driven strategy, I mean, if we don't have a potential coming, why to wake up the circuit? The circuit is in sleep mode. And uh, if we, <coughs> so we have, uh, we check if there's some signal. The signal is coming, the actual potential is coming, uh, with this uh, processing just mentioned about. Then we can, of course, uh, ask this main block to wake up and to process the signal. Of course, so uh, this is the new idea of comparing this other report, but uh, we are the only group uh, collecting the, the wall action potential, so uh, instead of taking spike or something like that. And uh, this is the power consumption uh, of the circuit doing all this. So this is not the main uh, issue for my, this is why I'm running. So now the, the next step is the, uh, the uh, uh, the application, so uh, of course a lot can be said of all this, maybe you know about some of these uh, you know, diseases in the brain, all this coming from the brain, like Parkinson, uh, depression, cetera, vision, and uh, then others uh, are now using uh, electrical stimulation or drug delivery in order to solve some, some of this issue. And uh, here also give you a rough idea of the cost of uh, select brain and nervous system disorder on uh, means published by NIH uh, recently few years ago uh, and the cost per year you can get the cost per year and how many persons uh, are suffering from, from this uh, problem. I don't know uh, if we take for example uh, all the recent disorder we do with that one million and this is the money uh, Alzheimer is much more expensive, etc. So what are a lot of these For vision here, so uh, we have a system with a camera collecting image, and then we have like clear and image processor and converting to instructions. Then send the image in real time with the energy to to the to the brain. Inside the brain, we have a system which looks like this. 
So we have antenna receiving energy and then broadcasting the information to different sites. Every one of those uh, units is from one side, we have the matrix of spin I just mentioned about, and we have from the other side a chip which you can flip and connect directly, as uh, mentioned here briefly. And then, uh, then we have many of these you can build, you can uh, put together a lot of have those hundred sites and have a precise simulation. So this is the, the site where the vision, primary vision is coming in the brain and we have to connect on this region, the color red here, the red color, and this is the matrix for performing your idea. This is this image to give an idea about if we have 16 per 16, uh, and with uh, first uh, intensity variation, the current will eject, so we can have such image. So we're trying again a lot of electronic, but I will not really uh, elaborate here again. But uh, maybe the system is like any system of receiving energy and exchanging data in both directions will cause a lot of costs. Measuring what happened inside, the regulation is good, the, the side will estimate still active, etc. And we can of course update and exchange both these. And this is the, the chip I just uh, mentioned about your performance channel connected uh, many of those units with a fixable, of course, uh, ECD, then we can, we can put this on the top of the brain and then this buffer side of the, of the dura. So, uh, this is, uh, if you need, if you have any questions, please let me know where we have published all those data. Then what we want to simulate is a, is a, a very uh, thin electrode, that is a typical electrode, it's a very small area, the connection with two electrodes, if we want to simulate bipolar, the impedance can be very high. Very high means up to 50 or 100 uh, kilo ohm. Uh, with this, uh, with this uh, big impedance, if we want to inject uh, very small current, for example, 10 or 100 microampere, so we need very high voltage. Now, technology is pushing to work to with one volt or less, so that we need uh, 10 or 20 volt. This is why we are combining technology. From one side, we have a system working with 120 micron, and the other cloud working with, uh, with 120 micron. That means here, we can operate with 120 volt or small signals. For example, control, uh, generating a uh, waveform, etc., a conversion from another digital. But the front end with the tissue is high voltage in order to generate plus and minus 9 volt. This is the high voltage chip and this is the low voltage chip and we can connect and we can generate and instead of generating square or rectangular pulses like everybody is doing so we believe we can have better performance with such exponential pulses and what pulses that this work then. Of course, simulating inside the brain is not really mapping to image like this uh, directly. So the, the, uh, the busy topic of, of the vision inside the brain is like uh, what you see here. Uh, and this is a phobia, uh, very, very high density, and uh, is around a couple of centimeters far. We have we still have the uh, full screen of the pixels. Then we have the uh, first image. We can select the main information, have some fitting with the busy topic and then stimulate the size of the brain. All this is being done, of course, in uh, Vietnam. Then uh, the, the external part connecting to the camera, we have an elaborated, of course, uh, system taking, taking the image, again, fitting with the visual topic, which can be prepared uh, uh, of time uh, if you want. Then uh, we convert uh, this from uh, for saying the visual of the red means respecting the visual topics and form to some memory, then order this in order to reduce power consumption on this and encoding and transmitting to the inside. And then we have this inside block which the, the, the main part is staging or uh, broadcasting the, the different signals, the different unit and uh, powering up those different to show here preliminary result. This is a system with a 4 for 4 on a 16 channel. It's the uh, matrix and from the other side we have this chip I just mentioned about, that is the connection. 
we try this, uh, we we'll try this in RAM and give the idea about the system external part is the, the back of the RAM and the, the, kind of the chip is, uh, is now implanted inside the, inside the bay of the RAM, just uh, preliminary for some imaging. Okay, uh, then uh, for the data, the power uh, rough idea, the system is complex, so from, uh, from the outside world we have user interface, can be camera, can be, and then we have generation director, communication, you know, we can of course calibrate all these, and in order to have the need of course energy using power to find sand data and energy to the side. Then inside, uh, of course, we have to recuperate this energy, having a rectifier, having a regulator, generate those different voltage we need, and uh, recuperating the modulated signal, uh, ASA, PSA, etc. And then with this, we can, of course, uh, <coughs> drive the simulator if we want to simulate. And we can collect the uh, measuring, recording, and, uh, and uh, uh, Converting this with a lot of flexor, converting to data, to digital, and doing some LSA means we can do lift, uh, is uh, load shift gain, is uh, changing the load here outside with the same link, we can uh, detect a series of zero or one, means receiving uh, data from outside. So a lot of things can be done again, but it's good. And this is uh, the BPSK, BPSK for those uh, in the communication. So with, with BPSK, uh, we did a lot, we did some work on time ago. It gives us here quickly, uh, we can make uh, up to 1.62 megabits per second maximum. Uh, but uh, with 1.6 uh, uh, megabits per second, uh, again, uh, is wirelessly powering the thing. Uh, give you idea 600 uh, microwatt. And then with the QPSK, of course, uh, much better. This is a chip, give you idea. Again, millimeters per millimeters. Uh, uh, working at those ISM frequency allow for magnetic application. We can go up to 10 megabits per second and uh, only we need 1 milliwatt. Then now we are pushing more because we need to record as we just mentioned as the beginning many hundred channels. So we have now a system with three links, one only dedicated for energy, one link is for uh, downlink, that means we, we bring information from outside and energy, uh, data only from, from outside to inside. Or uh, we want to do uplink, that means measuring and bring the information to outside. Different topologies, this is as you see vertical or horizontal, which is much, much better to put at the top of the brain. And with, with this structure, we have, of course, a reduced recently and uh, less interference between energy and both all those channels. And uh, this is uh, allowed to run those 10 minutes per second. We are doing also wireless, uh, I just mentioned. Uh, so again, the idea is to have one, one milliwatt, 100 kilobits, or two or three hundred kilobits. This is we are pushing now. I, I have here uh, 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 sensitizers so you can configure a program which uh, operate uh, uh, means with uh, less than uh, five hundred megawatts. Okay, then electrodes. This is we are doing electrodes. Uh, this I just show, but uh, starting from a, a cube of stainless steel or titanium. Biomedical, uh, biocompatible material, and then with this electric discharge machine or film, we can cut, as you see, this is the wire cutting. So we can cut in one direction, uh, giving this, then we can cut as the other direction, having this. Then we can, of course, build a single four or four, a lot of those electrodes. Then we can uh, uh, continue, uh, means uh, processing. Uh, for example, electron polishing here in order to have good tip. So this is a uh, show what we do next. We put on the bottom side some epoxy uh, uh, to isolate those pin, and then we turn uh, means, uh, uh, up uh, the other side, and then we can create those, uh, those uh, metal here. We remove this part of the metal on the bottom side of the silicon, and we'll end up with those uh, head of, uh, of those pin, 
and then we can come with those chips that is mentioned about the stack. Of course, the we have tests on EV Vivo, uh, with Zula Vareto, right, in Montreal, this is a map, putting those uh, measurement uh, circuitry, or uh, uh, this is for measurement of Vivo idea, we can collect those sections of measure. And then, uh, elaborating more on the epileptic uh, uh, work. <laughs> okay, uh, so epilepsy is not new, uh, I think you know about uh, this is the excessive activity, electric storm in rain. Uh, before this, this year, people believed that silver was a supernatural force, so means when well, we lost control of the country. So quickly, uh, uh, people are using uh, anti epileptic drugs, medication. Uh, some of those uh, uh, epilepsy issue or, uh, or disease can be operated for surgery, but. Uh, <clears throat> Around one third of, of all peer patients or person are refractory to anti-epileptic drugs. So the no solution with drug, no solution with surgery, then electronic is needed. So this is the new idea of EEG try to locate what's happening. So uh, in general, uh, the idea is to uh, to uh, detect, locate and so on. So how to locate? If it is on the surface side, it's very easy to locate with EEG, with the clinical imaging. If it's inside the brain, it's more, more complex. So in general, also the signal processing is an important issue here. So here I'm showing a, a normal, a, 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 when, when we put it, uh, an EEG, or many ICEEG means an anthropological EEG, uh, we can pick up a signal like this and we can have a normal, no activity. Then we can have uh, some uh, burst here, which is about electrical seasons. So it means this is some abnormal activity, but not necessarily uh, uh, electric seasons. Then uh, uh, we have the signal coming, as you see here, and at the beginning, at the front, which we call onset, so we are willing to to be here on time, to locate on time, and then to stop the season uh, growing. Then one uh, channel gave me this, but uh, it, uh, it had a show with on the sixth channel how uh, uh, it broadcast to the web after, uh, after the beginning of you know, uh, with some delay, and gave me no idea representing what's happening here. That means uh, the first channel, uh, after six seconds, you have. Uh, we have the event, the signal 110, uh, 24, etc. So, give you an idea uh, the broadcasting in, in around 38 or 50 seconds. It can be called out and uh, we will control. Uh, so, uh, the algorithm we propose uh, in order to have uh, zero false alarm or Z, so it's uh, to somehow uh, <coughs> to compare, uh, to look for two information, uh, progressing of two information, amplitude of the signal and frequency. Uh, so a normal signal, if we look to this, this is the signal, normal again, amplitude is minus plus uh, 50 microvolt. We here we are modulating to, to, uh, to, to the means I will show you why, but it is not to process. But the, the content of the, of the signal here, uh, you can see here this histogram uh, is uh, A, uh, the signal between 10 and 30 microvolts, B is a little bit higher, C is uh, up to 50 to uh, 70 microvolts. Ma maximum the amplitude is, is the, means the number of uh, detection. So give you an idea, means no high, no high voltage here, no high amplitude, and uh, in terms of frequency, also no high frequency, is it uh, very small thing. Now, this electrical uh, seasons means like artifact, uh, quality seasons. It is uh, a little bit more uh, amplitude or uh, signal or activities, a little bit more uh, also frequency. But the one that seasons is, of course, the, the high amplitude is coming much bigger than all others. And the same, the frequency is uh, as much bigger than others. And, so uh, this uh, characterizes a bit more the 
uh, will measure it between 0 and 320 micro microvolt, uh, somewhere uh, higher than this. And with time, you can see in the beginning uh, the development after uh, we have many activity uh, on all those uh, amplitudes. So means uh, this is for the amplitude and uh, for the frequency of the system to see what's happening. So uh, electrodes, uh, vector or matrix uh, modulation in order to be able to remove the noise, which we call the one or F noise. Using chopper is uh, no, we are using semi, uh, half chopper in our uh, design, filtering, uh, buffering, and then uh, uh, detecting the, the amplitude of the level of those signals, uh, and then uh, going uh, uh, further in order to, to detect the, the frequency of those signals. So the, the frequency uh, detection is done during a uh, uh, time frame. This is the time frame, generate the uh, time frame, and then uh, we can count this. So, means uh, <coughs> voltage level detectors, digital modulation. Means when we modulate with uh, the structure, uh, we don't have to modulate again and come back. We can only do the processing in the digital world. And then we can uh, look to the frequency if it's progressing and it's high. And then we can decide with, if many channels are giving. Confirming there are something uh, happening, so now we can confirm, of uh, course, uh, the onset seasons. So this is uh, some uh, more details about this, this chain. Means uh, uh, again, uh, this is uh, the modulation, the signal input. Uh, we have, of course, noise adding here. Uh, we have amplification. Uh, we can, of course, uh, do. Uh, uh, adjusting or uh, <coughs> tune the gain and then uh, we have now what you see here this is the signal modulating uh, we have some noise added then uh, this is what's happening we can uh, apply a, fi a filter it means what we have in this amplifier has some filtering method and then we have this uh, one over noise if we process the signal only this, this information here so we don't need to have this to have a very, very easy uh, or very simple uh, uh, low high pass filter and we can close it. Okay, uh, then uh, this is the voltage level detector. Uh, so we are detecting between two values, uh, many to the channel. So uh, for example, I don't know if you take uh, the, the first one here is comparing between 95 millivolt and 125 millivolt. So the signal uh, is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is uh, up to high to those value, then uh, we have one here, means we have, we have a high amplitude, and we can, of course, adjust all those references with digital, of course, uh, circuit and, uh, and convert it to analog, and then we can, of course, uh, depend on every patient, we can, uh, as soon as, uh, that means uh, we do once, we can calculate all those parameters and uh, run. So the circuit again here is a very small circuit, very simple uh, in order to reduce power consumption. This is the comparator based on, uh, on this uh, very two amp rail with the circuitry. So uh, allow to, uh, uh, to, uh, to change this value when, when we tune up with this. This is DC biasing, so we can change this. Changing this, we can change those voltage we need in order to see where we want to compare. And for the digital now demodulation means we are receiving bursts like this to have an uh, easy circuit. Can uh, we can follow up all these and for every burst to have every burst to have means modulating and how this modulation is mentioned about. Uh, so we can uh, uh, for every burst of this we can convert to one uh, one spike if you want, and uh, we can count those event or those spike give us the frequency. Uh, this is the, now the time frame uh, uh, which can be controlled as, uh, with this uh, again circuits. Uh, and uh, we have those uh, counter, one counter for every, for every channel in order to do the work. Okay, give you an idea here about uh, the consumption. All, all the whole circuit consume uh, 6 microwatts, 7 microwatts. 
and uh, I just managed to show me the Lanova. The multi-level detector is nothing here. Five, uh, actually six transistors. Uh, the 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 higher consumption comes the amplifier, of course, is stable. So this is an uh, uh, example here again. Uh, uh, the bandwidth of the amplifier, the Gorgia, the amplitude of the noise, and uh, the amplitude we are looking for after amplification, of course. Okay, uh, and the time frame is 500 milliseconds, and the uh, counter circuit is enough to uh, be. So that means. Uh, we, I just mentioned this again about detection. <coughs> so yeah, the idea of uh, V2 EEG, MRI, uh, uh, single photon emission, computer tomography, different imaging, clinical imaging technique uh, can be used to do a uh, first diagnostic, uh, you can say, try to locate what's happening. And now uh, many group, our group also work in clinical imaging using the of course uh, near infrared spectrometry, which is very light, we don't have big scanner and person can, can move, uh, doesn't have to be attached to any equipment. So locate this, if it's located for example on, on this side, as you see, so we have to open, remove the skull and come in the brain, put the surface electrodes. And then connecting and again to locate uh, with, uh, with better precision inside the brain. Uh, and uh, of course, you can cover back and leave it for a few weeks because, in general, I don't know here, but a neural signal was recorded for a few weeks for one patient, for this patient. And scissors were observed and video EEG. Eight scissors were recorded. So, a few weeks, eight times only, it can happen any time during just 24 hours. So it means you cannot really put the person under the sky for three weeks. This is why we need something uh, for this moment. So suppose now we are okay. And uh, this is uh, how the work been done. Putting on the surface those electrodes, this is, uh, as you see here, the front side. And with uh, different tools, we can, uh, uh, of course, locate uh, this is the software tools after recording all these. We can locate what exactly this is three different imaging, and this is the software doing to locate uh, the, this, the season exactly. And uh, then uh, for this special recording, again with those uh, channels, as I just mentioned, there are many channels here. And uh, <coughs> uh, there is some zoo with it here to locate. Uh, this is the onset, the yellows are now, and this is showing our algorithm measuring those slow digits, and uh, the output is, uh, is, is declaring or uh, telling us where are those uh, uh, somehow uh, seasonal subject. So uh, I just mentioned about the software is, uh, is uh, when we record those uh, intracortical EEG, this is the software name is Harmony. And the scissor company in Montreal doing the business with this. And the scissor detection algorithm is validated in MATLAB for those But you have the measurement, we use all the algorithm to confirm we can detect. Then this is another case, uh, another case where we can, of course, again locate what's happening. Uh, and uh, you see the image as uh, is, is, is clear as you can see. So this is again. Uh, uh, well, a brief uh, season here first, then measure one later for this particular patient. So we have uh, uh, here confirming uh, this season is different. So uh, comparing between those two patients here, uh, uh, in this case one in case two using uh, I don't know those parameters. Input range is between five and three microvolt here. The second is maximum one hundred microvolt. And uh, those parameters are, as you see, this is where we measure those uh, amplitude of those storms, uh, those seasons, and uh, uh, the, the time uh, needed to, to locate uh, the season is uh, 1.5 seconds to, to declare and detect. And, to, uh, and here, uh, 
the, the parameter we are using uh, for, uh, for those uh, uh, gain uh, uh, detection for detectors uh, to, to program the computer and give you an idea about the voltage here we are using after a small computation. And, uh, uh, sorry about this, this is the, the type of frame we are using to measure, but it takes uh, 3 and 10 seconds to declare the hours. This is a microchip uh, fabricated uh, 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 all this equipment inside one millimeter, two millimeter, to give you an idea about the information here. Then uh, now simulation, in order to work in two directions, not there be no data yet to show here, but simulation is it uh, means uh, again we have uh, uh, the two parts, the part here, and somehow blue, but there are more blue, we have the detector, I just mentioned about all those parameters coming from uh, some kind of uh, registers here, we're coming to digital to analog converter in order to set up all those uh, needed devices. And uh, the Caesar on set detector is here, the one for two millimeters chip uh, is, is, uh, is being uh, is, uh, uh, <coughs> controlled by a uh, very low power now, PGA, very small uh, area. I wanted to have first prototype. And then we have the simulator using a digital to analog converter amplifier and uh, then uh, uh, switching in order to be able to simulate bipolar between different channels. So this is a chip put in, in box, the box is put in PCB, and we have another PCB for rendering energy and policies and uh, working with that. Uh, so stimulating, uh, of course, so we stimulate on, on the uh, as the, uh, the top of the dura, uh, or inside the, the brain, as you see here in the left level. Uh, so we need a very high current because we are stimulating uh, uh, the fluid with very good disease. And this is, uh, we have a uh, circuit uh, controller generating with high precision, those uh, stimulus in order to generate those current and give you an idea about, uh, I don't know, uh, state machine which allows to generate up to 12 milliamp uh, and, uh, and, uh, and here 2 milliamp uh, between uh, those two corners we use today in that center. So I'll check a quick information uh, here and uh, fix it up. Okay. So, uh, <coughs> uh, as I just mentioned, we are willing to learn what's happening between neurons because we believe most of those uh, neural system and the brain dysfunction coming from this connection. Uh, so uh, this is of course a uh, major objective. Uh, but so far uh, we, we did some work uh, on uh, from one side on a chip and uh, from uh, at the top of this again one other uh, stacking uh, device. This, 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 this time is microfluids. So uh, we well, have it here microchannels, and uh, the bottom of the microchannel, on the top of the chip, we have uh, uh, some uh, electrode configuration, uh, different shapes in order to be able to uh, manipulate those cells using electrophoresis, means some electric field can be controlled with, uh, with the electric signal, with the voltage signal. We are working on electromagnetic, also magnetic the resistor or optics again to do those uh, pushing those those cells. So the idea is to take the ion and push it inside and characterize those ions. This is what we are doing there. So microphores is one is connected to a, a capacitor sensor uh, which can uh, work in two So this capacitor sensor can of course allow us to sense as low as one or couple of uh, thumb to parts. So here uh, we have, um, of course, two processes, and here I'm showing uh, three channels, three micro channels inside such stricter, uh, and uh, one reference channel in order to, to compare and uh, consistent German. So uh, this is uh, just rough information. I have a book about sensor 
for that ship application uh, is in process. So uh, quick information about our lab. So this is my, uh, my lab, uh, my group, uh, uh, founded in 1994. Uh, so far, 100 students completed the degree. Actually, the lab is very busy. Uh, around 30 students with five postdoc. Uh, of course, we have uh, all medical issues being done with many medical institutes in, uh, in Montreal, the practice vision or urology or, or uh, LFC or restoration. So, uh, Montreal is a very rich, uh, of course, uh, city in terms of university and hospital. Uh, so, for the uh, LFC, the done with Notre Dame was 2000. Uh, and I have some support from, uh, of course, uh, Federal and the provincial agency in Canada from both sides, engineering and medical, and uh, power. So, uh, few, uh, few uh, of course, uh, uh, industry are, uh, are uh, supporting us and working with us. One slide about this research center. This is a resume. This is a microsystem strategic alliance of Quebec, and coming from the French uh, main name. Uh, 50 professors, around 400 graduate students. Uh, from the university working on microelectronic microsystems and uh, all type of, of course, uh, uh, application, uh, medical device, uh, telecommunication, uh, <coughs> putting uh, the interface between the micro and nano, uh, all these uh, applications, of course. We have uh, in my lab infrastructures. Uh, this is uh, uh, for assembly and packing. When the ship is certificated and we want to do the stacking or, or any assembly, we have a uh, uh, pick and place custom made machine, a uh, wire bonding machine, laser to put in boxes, uh, many other characteristic machines, x ray to characterize. So this is a new machine about microfluidic system, how we can do those micro channels. Uh, all this big chip bonder, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, and many others. So this is a pick up. Okay, so in conclusion, uh, so what the working principle of the proposed system, as I said, the director uh, just mentioned about was demonstrated, sends the signal, signal, modulate the IEEG, IEC, EEG recording, amplify, extract the activity information using those voltage level detector, the modulate the original frequency using RC circuit, and detect user frequency by counting number of past activity in some time frame. Okay, this is uh, uh, in general uh, uh, was uh, almost uh, zero for specific detection. Uh, it can detect high frequency and uh, progress the release of the signal. And uh, to finish, uh, brain machine, brain interface in two directions, of course, multi channel, computer by sensing and treatment are now uh, coming. Uh, the FCC is also a detector, just mentioned, we still have some work to do. Design challenge on the dimension of those projects, of course. Key parameter for those interested, fast data transmission, means we need to use this uh, on time, on real time, on the fly. We need microwatt. Microwatt wireless, still now 100 of milliwatt is very uh, too much. <coughs> we need to harvest and scavenge energy, because battery and uh, are still have to be replaced and small size of the part of those applications. Okay, this is maybe to end. Transition to clinical PCI with minimal outside assistance is important for PCI to interpret the users to work in a rural context, context to not generate the desired function that we know for this season. I have to acknowledge support from all those uh, people for the agency in Canada. So mainly uh, the Canada Research Chair Program, the NSERC Engineering, and this is the Health CIHR, and uh, uh, the, this research center, CMC Microelectronics, which is uh, there to help us about tools and fabrication of some chip outside the country. And of course, I'm collaborating on the list very long uh, and uh, this is my group so far. Thank you so much for your.